What's up fellow van nerds? For today's project, we're upgrading the windshield wipers on a Sprinter van to the newer Mercedes wet wiper system. Now, why would you want to do something like that? Well, wet wipers improve visibility by cleaning the windshield more completely. They spray fluid from a series of ports down the length of the wiper blade itself, rather than a single spray head. This gives you better coverage and ultimately a cleaner windscreen. We're giving this project a degree of difficulty of two it costs about 200 bucks and it takes between 30 and 45 minutes. Parts you're gonna need for this include one set of Mercedes wet wiper blades, one driver's side wet wiper arm, one passenger side wet wiper arm, and optionally washer hose connectors that press into the van's bulkhead. I'll explain these a little bit later. There are links to all these parts in the description below. Tools you're gonna need include a 16 millimeter box wrench, a 16 millimeter socket driver, or a 10 inch adjustable wrench, a large flat screwdriver, and a clean lube spray like WD-40. If your wiper arms are really stuck down, you may need a wiper arm puller tool. I was able to pry mine off just using the adjustable wrench. First, remove the cap to reveal the fixing nut. It's probably obvious, but you need to do this on both the passenger and driver's side. Next, carefully unplug the fluid tube from the nozzle. Step 3. Loosen the wiper arm fixing bolt with your 16mm or adjustable wrench. Remove the nut and spray some lube to penetrate and loosen up any corrosion. Next, pry the wiper arm off the spindle using the large screwdriver or the adjustable wrench like I did here. Now spray some lube on the spindle and give it a good cleaning. Push the clip slider on the end of the arm up to open it. Now take the blade and place its corresponding fixing point into the arm clip and press the clip slider back down to lock it. Now attach the fluid tube that's inside the arm to the nozzle on the blade. If you look closely on your windshield, you'll see these two indicator lines. This is the low point you want to align your blades to so they rest at the correct spot. If you look at your new wiper arm, you'll note that the attachment hole doesn't have any grooves. You'll create them when you tighten it down onto the spindle with the fixing bolt. I didn't record this part because I needed one hand to hold the blade in place and the other to crank down the bolt, but here's the finished product. Note that the blade is aligned with the alignment marks on the window. Start this step by putting the cap back on the nut. Next, take the fluid tube and route it to the nozzle in a way that prevents it from getting kinked. I took the long way around here, but you could also cut and shorten the tubes if you wish. Now if you remember back to our parts list when I mentioned buying those washer hose connectors, I actually broke one of mine trying to reconnect the hose. Having black plastic parts baking in the sun tends to make them brittle. Yours might be fine, but having them in hand will ensure you can complete this job in one go. The difference in performance is pretty dramatic. As you can see in this shot, our stock passenger sprayer is pretty anemic. By contrast, the wet wiper side drenched the windscreen. After changing out both sides, I used an electron micro camera for an extreme close-up. The results are quite impressive. 